It is still my daily and I need it to last, you know. I am however in the market officially for a drift car. So I'm looking for a car for my lady because she wants something cool and I also am looking for uh, either an S chassis or a Z, one or the other. Uh, my buddy has an S chassis but it's a convertible so we'll go check it out, see, see, how, see how it is. Um, the cool thing about that one is it's got an RV25 in there so it would be Game plan for this year is me and my lady are just trying to get ourselves situated, uh, just kind of move out of the place that we're in now, get somewhere new. Um, and once we do that, also we're gonna we're gonna get her car. After we get her car, we're gonna start looking for the uh, for the drift build. So it's either gonna be like I said, a Z or an S chassis, one or the other. having a small car. Nothing. Nothing. Oh no. Oh. And there we go. Now those should fit just fine. Like shit, I settled down man. man. You try to get me but you never understand, yeah. You fucking with me. There we go. Jeez, that was frustrating. There we go. Ugh. Awesome, and now that that's done. Do not judge my hair. I just woke up. Um. First off, let me start by saying I did get the tires put on. Um, they got the lug nut out for me instead of me doing it for them just because I didn't have any time to. But, since I put on 235s instead of the 225s that I had before, I'm rubbing like how I was rubbing before. So, I need to come up or get more camber. And I'm sick of camber, so I'm definitely just gonna bring the car up a little bit. So, that's probably the next thing you're gonna see. Um, and you may be asking yourself, why did you change your map? And 
The only reason I did that is because, like I said, I have that check engine for EVAP code, and I didn't have that before I switched to the uh, electronic boost controller, and I have the Stage 2 Plus. So right now I'm going back, going back to Stage 2 uh, low wastegate, because maybe also I have the Catalyst downpipe with still stock turbo and a stock wastegate, so maybe like the wastegate size isn't, you know, compensating the fact that I have a completely Catalyst downpipe. So I think maybe if I leave it in low wastegate until I go and get my actual grip speed up pipe on with the new wastegate, I can A, stop eating through gas, and B, Okay, so just a heads up, it didn't fix my problem. Uh, I'm supposed to have the normal wastegate option, not the low wastegate. Uh, I was talking to Pedro about it, and he was like, bro, you should definitely get off of the low wastegate before like you blow your car up trying to get into boost. And I was like, all right. So I'm just going to download the normal wastegate, and we should be good until we throw all of our aftermarket parts on. Stop sputtering. I'm not really, not really sure. I'm just trying to like diagnose here, so... Okay, so far while driving it, honestly, everything seems okay. Like I said, I put the low wastegate map back on just because I wanted to be on the safe side. So I'm, my dam is at 16, which is good. My feedback, oh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. When the feedback knocked, it went to negative 211. But I mean, that's like pretty normal numbers. I'm really just trying to make sure that like, I don't know what that is. Every time we hit a bump, we're like, just like, every single time. Uh, it'll, you'll probably catch it right here. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Okay. But yeah, we just gotta come up like maybe half an inch and it should be good. These gas prices are making me want to kill myself. Before, it was like, a little under four dollars. Now it's almost five dollars. God. Ugh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I literally, I was like, I was like, ah, oh, I passed by here, and I was like, I gotta take a picture. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. Sorry guys, I stopped. I had to get a thumbnail picture real quick. I started talking to this elderly guy. He was like, oh, I got a cross track, and it's amazing. So, yeah. But look at this dude. This is a beautiful view. That right there, honestly. Genuinely might be the thumbnail. This is this is ah, this is beautiful. Look at that Honestly guys, I was really really trying to get some decent content out for you But there hasn't really been much going on kind of like the last few videos. I apologize that they've been kind of lackluster not the most entertaining um, It's really cold outside like it's genuinely really cold outside we, we get like two days where it's like nice and no no snow or anything and then all of a sudden BAM it snows again I can't really do anything, I don't have a garage, and also, I'm sick right now. So, I'm going to probably take it easy for a little bit, and just kind of hop on some Demon Slayer, just hang out with the boys for a little bit. If you guys want to see some of that, I will always be down the stream. Uh, I, I do already stream, and I'll post them on YouTube if you guys want. I appreciate you watching and supporting me still, so uh, peace out, and keep moving forward. Also, totally forgot to mention that uh, I looked up when the next FD event would be, just because that's something I'm interested in. I don't know if I've mentioned that to you guys. Um, so in June of this year, FD will be coming to New Jersey, which is only like maybe an hour or two or three away from us. So me and a couple of the boys are going to try to go down there, see the show, and hopefully we can record it for you guys. And I know it's a couple ways away, but I just wanted to give you a heads up so that you could at least, you know, get ready for it. Anyways, peace out guys, and I will see you all in the next video.